Hello. Um, six fifty-nine. We won't start right just now, but I just want. I'm trying to get the angle right. You know, one of these days I'm gonna show you guys my high-tech um, camera holder thingy. You're gonna go, oh my god, you're so white trash. I'm not white trash. I'm brown trash. Mexican girl. So we'll just wait half a second. See what's going on. Does that look okay? Yeah, I guess it's all right. I guess so. So, oh, I should probably fill up my wine too, huh? So you go fill up your wine. I'll fill up my wine, and then we'll be ready. I just drink the cheap box stuff. Everybody, uh, I am Tasha, your Simple Solution Specialist, and we're live from the Smoky Mountain Homestead. I think this angle looks funky. I don't know if I like it or not. Maybe a little more this way. I don't know. What I really would like to have is somebody on the other side of the butcher block right there, but we don't have that. What I need to get is one of those big stands for my for my camera, but that's not going to happen anytime soon. So tonight, um, I got a few things. Uh, we're going to be, I'm going to show you a couple things that I make. Uh, one of them is these little guys. They smell so good. So these are, I used to make um, these, uh, like, a, like a sugar body scrub thing, but um, I didn't like it. I mean, it worked. Like, it made my skin feel amazing, but it was really hard to clean the tub out and stuff. So I'm going to show you how I make these ones. These are way, way, way better. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, we'll talk about some other things. Let's do, let's start with the easy stuff. You know, what, let me put this up so I'm not looking down all the time. Um, so you know what? Let's get this started because I do have to put it on the stove. So I'm going to carry you around again a little bit. Um, so these are like just basically body scrub cubes for the shower or the bath, whatever. Um, and they're super super easy to make. And there's a couple different ways you can do this. Well, several different ways actually. Um, but the basic ingredients are just soap and they're, it's grated, like, you know, like we did the stuff for the, uh, ooh, there's a hair tickle in me, like we did the stuff for the laundry detergent, the soap, but this is a different kind of soap and I'll explain that. Um, so that's grated and coconut oil and check this out. I was at Big Lots and I got this. This is um, non-GMO coconut oil. And it's how much is in here? 60 fluid ounces for $7.50. That's a screaming deal. Um, I got a bigger one, a gallon one, for like $12.99 or something like that. So if you have a big lot in your area, go check them out. It's a good thing to stock up on. Um, so coconut oil and sugar. Um, you can use, ooh, what is that? Um, you can use, um, I just use the white sugar, whatever, because it works and it works. Uh, but you could use brown sugar too. I wouldn't use anything like your turbinado sugars or any of your fancy sugars because those are expensive and you're going to be literally putting this right back down the drain. So you don't want to be flushing your money down the drain. Um, I mean, you might. If you want to, go right ahead. Um, so, <coughs> so all this is, so these are the trays that I use. I use these metal ones. Um, I like them specifically because the mixture when you're done is real thick. And I can put it in here and like pat it down with the spoon and then I just put the thing in on top. Um, and we got a whole bunch of these. We got a bunch of them at, a, at an antique store for like $8. We got a whole bunch of them and then my mother-in-law gave us some so I've got plenty, plenty. Um, but you can if you want to use like the plastic ones that you like pop the ice out of. Or you could even use those little silicone ones with the little tiny, tiny ice cubes. You could do that too. Um, so all we're doing is, oh, I need to get a knife. Um, this is like super, super simple. So I have a half a cup of coconut oil. And I'm gonna stick in here. I like to use this enamel pot when I'm doing stuff like this. Um, like I did last week with the uh, laundry soap, you'd notice that my other pot was enamel too. I like using them because I can use my, uh, 
wooden spoon in this and it won't scratch the enamel. Um, I kind of go back and forth with using, sorry, with using um, my wooden spoons or not. I kind of feel like it kind of might soak into the um, spoon, but it never does. So I don't know what I'm freaking out about. So that was a half a cup of coconut oil and this is a cup of soap. So let's talk about the soap. Um, you can use an unscented soap, like a regular basic lye soap, like you would use for, um, for laundry detergent. Although I wouldn't use something like Phil's naphtha or Zote or something that's specifically designed for laundry and spot removal and stuff. I wouldn't use that. I actually love soaps that smell really good and I get soap, like people give me soap as a gift all the time because they know I love soap. And typically, you know, usually it's not, excuse me, it's not like, um, you know, non-GMO, organic, it's just a pretty smelling soap, whatever. And that's what I use these for because I have them and I'm definitely not gonna let anything go to waste. So this is actually some soap that I don't even know where it came from. I have a box, like a big old box full of soap bars. And this is just, I don't even know what this is. La Florentina, made in Italy. I don't know, something fancy schmancy. I don't know if you can see that, but I don't know. It smells amazing. So that's what I use this stuff for. So we grated that whole bar up. I have a whole bunch of it left too. So once these are gone, um, I can just use that until it's gone. These, I, only, I don't even use these every time I shower either. I use them like every couple of weeks maybe. So these will last me for a long, long time. Um, well... Yeah. yeah, so I'm gonna add the soap to that. And then we are gonna go over here. Let me put this over here and I'll come get you. All right, come here. Oh, do you hear my, my music? It's, uh, ooh, wow, that's really bright in your eyeballs, isn't it? Let's turn you this way so you can see. Is that still in your eyeballs? No, that's better. Um, let me turn this off. That is uh, French Cafe Radio. Okay, listen, I don't want to get local dates. Can I? Stop. Okay, that's French Cafe Radio on Pandora. I love that station. So I'm going to put this on pretty low. You know, like, this is an electric stove, so eh, anyways. But, um, I don't know, this is probably on like 6. I'm going to start it out at 7 to get it going. Then I'll probably lower it to like 6.5. So that's like a medium low flame um because you don't want to scorch it otherwise and then you're not going to want to use it it's going to be yucky so let's let that get moving and then let me see yeah it'll it'll get going in just a minute because that coconut oil so i use the um i'm going to turn you this i'm going to go back over here while that's doing that so i use the um oh hey that kind of works too a little bit um I use the solid coconut oil because if you use the fractionated co coconut oil, which has the solids removed, um, it won't solid up and get all firm. So, cause when I'm done, oh my God, that dog, sorry. Stop it, inside. Thank you. I swear one day we're just gonna eat her. Um, Chula, don't you go out there. I'm gonna put that door up so she can't get out. Nope. Um, so when I get done with these and they're all nice and hard, like if you want them to harden up really fast, you can just stick them in the, re in the freezer and they'll get all nice and hard. And then I just store them in a canning jar like this. Just a, this a regular mason jar. I pulled this one out of the cupboard. I don't know if you can see it. It says, it says love on the top. I'm like, where'd that lid come from? That's so cute. A whole jar of love somebody had. How cute is that? So yeah, I use the, that's why I use the solid coconut oil for that. Um, otherwise it's just gonna be like a gloppy mess. Um, so what I was telling you before, the one I used to make years ago, I did with um, sugar and olive oil. And it took me forever to get that, the shower clean because it was so greasy. You'd get in there and you're like, whoa, you know, you feel like you're gonna fall. So I found that the co this, this coconut oil works way better. So let's go over here and check this, 
check this thing, see what it's doing. I really got to show you guys what, oh, you know what, I better if I go this way. It won't be so glary in your eyeballs. I might not be as cute, but that doesn't matter. Yeah, that's a little bit better, huh? Oh yeah, see, it's already starting to melt. And it, you know, if it doesn't melt all the, all the way down and you have like a chunk of soap in there, like a little pieces or something, it's okay because it's soap, you know? I mean, you use, it'll, it'll foam up in the shower or in the bathtub, so it doesn't really matter. Ooh, that's really nice and getting melty. Um, yeah, so we're gonna, here, you can stand here and sit here and watch me stir this for a minute, but, um, so one of the other things I wanted to talk about was, um, with spring coming, a lot of people, when we lived in San Diego, we had a lot of weeds in our front yard. And growing up, like, we don't have a sidewalk here, but it, our sidewalk had, like, grass and weeds and stuff growing up in, in between there. And so the best thing I found to get rid of those weeds, we had people, well, we, we did have neighbors that were out there and they're spraying freaking Roundup and crap. And I'm like, don't spray that stuff. Um, you know, boiling water. Just boiling water. So, like, if I boiled hard boiled eggs or something like that I'd save the water and go out there and pour it on the on the weeds and it killed them so I thought well that's a pretty good deal and talk about economical yeah just a little bit of hot water and and it just shrivels it right up so that's my gardening tip for you for today which is really funny because in this house I have the brown thumb Alan's the one with the uh, with the green thumb he can grow just about anything he's amazing that's looking pretty good. Still, I, you kind of want to keep stirring it just to make sure it doesn't like scorch on the bottom of the pan, you know? Uh, let's see, what else? So, oh, um, if, I don't know if any of you know this, probably some of you do, I'm um, involved with a group here, a nonprofit called Women of Waynesville, and we have our second annual Kentucky Derby fundraiser coming up in May. And Women of Waynesville is, it, it's a very unique nonprofit in that we raise money. Well, we focus on women and children, but we raise, we, through fundraising, we raise money to give to other nonprofits to support women and children in Haywood County. So I thought, I, it, it's in the, this group of women is so amazing. They're just sweet, sweet, sweet as can be. Um, but... If you know anybody up in this area, or even if you're not in this area, and you want to sponsor, uh, be one of the sponsors for this year's Kentucky Derby, just shoot me a message, and we'll make it happen. I gotta, I kind of take this off the heat a little bit sometimes, so it doesn't, it, the, the soap will tend to get a little bit foamy, and I want to be able to see those soap pieces good enough to know that they're melted all the way. So this is just the coconut oil and the soap, the shredded soap. That's all that's in here right now. Uh, let's see. So, uh, yeah, that's coming up. That's in May, May 5th. We talked about calling it Cinco de Durbo, but we decided not to do that. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, I start my new classes uh, tomorrow night. I'll have, ugh, one of my seminars is at 10 o'clock at night. I'll be lucky to make those, man. I'm usually out out by then um yeah so my uh intro to emergency management class i was reading what we're supposed to be doing this week and there's like this course of study on the fema website and i'm like oh, okay i go over there that we're supposed to do it says whole course on the thing like we're supposed to do the whole thing this thing is like the introduction that fema uses the intro class that fema uses for people who are going into emergency management i'm like Really? Do we have to do this entire thing? I don't want to do that entire thing. It's like six hours long. In one week, plus our other homework for the class, plus I have two other classes I'm taking. I'm like, I'm not going to have time to do anything. So, um, I actually, eat, and I got the first module done. There's like, you know, there's six or seven, eight modules, something like that. So I emailed my professor, and I'm like, are we supposed to do this whole thing this week? I mean, I can do it, but... I'd also like to eat and sleep and take a bath. And he's like, oh, no, that's just a supplement to the class. And I'd already done the first module. That's just a supplement to the class. You don't have to do that. That's just if you want further study. I'm like, oh, my gosh, thank goodness. So, I mean, it's interesting. 
because it's the first part is all kind of like the history of FEMA and how it how, how it evolved and it was really I thought it was pretty interesting but yeah to have to do that whole thing in one week plus everything else I was kind of panicking so I emailed them and thank goodness I don't have to do that um, this is almost I wish my camera was better so that you guys could see this it's still kind of like a little bit chunky it's still got a little it's the soap pieces that need to melt a little bit down more soap tends to take a while to melt down um yeah so what time is it 7 14 okay um so yeah i'm glad i don't have to do that and but i'm kind of nervous about taking three classes this term i hope i don't i really need to to, I have to, if I, if I don't keep my 4.0 GPA, I will be mad. I will just want to kick myself for overloading myself. Um, all right, so let's talk about um, our little prep tip for today. So there are different, I mean, we all have different things that we want to prepare for, obviously. I mean, if you live on this coast, you're going to probably prep for like a hurricane rather than an earthquake. So it's just every everybody's situation is different. So you have to kind of take the take everything and then look at it and then adjust it to your needs. So but one thing that everybody should have in their car is a get home bag. And I learned that here really quick. There's I was surprised at how many people get stuck on the side of the road, especially during like a storm or you know, just what anything can happen, you know, you just don't know. And so in the back of my car, I've got this bag that's got my hiking boots and, um, you know, a hike of socks to go with my boots and appropriate clothing for the weather, which I do change out every, um, about every six months, I change them out for the season. Um, water food, non-perishable food, things that I could just eat on the go, um, emergency blankets, all kinds of stuff in there. Uh, so everybody should have one of those in there. And if you just Google um, get home bag, you'll find, I think this is ready, you'll find um, tons of recipes, recipes, lists of stuff that you can put in there and everybody's everybody that puts these lists together their list is probably going to be a little bit different so yeah so like i said you have to kind of customize it to your own to your own needs all right so let me get this all right i might have to go put another log on the fire let me push you back a little bit all right, so this is, our soap is melted along with the coconut oil, and now I'm just going to add, ooh, what is that? Little bubbly. Um, two cups of sugar, and that's all that is in this. Coconut oil, soap of your choice, and sugar. So once you get the um, get it all mixed up, you want to get it in your tray really quick because it gets really, um, it's not really liquidy at all. It's very um, kind of dry. You'll see once you make it and you'll be like, oh, I get what she means. There's one, two, and then you can do, if you use an unscented soap, you can use... If you, if you have your unscented soap, but you still want it scented, you can just put throw in some essential oils. Um, I don't use my essential oils in this because my oils are more medicinal, and I don't want to, um, I don't want to waste them on this. <laughs> I'm taking a bath, you know? So I, that's how, that, but that's, you know what, that's totally up to you. And you might find one that you just love the smell of it, and it just makes you happy, you know what? And they say that if you're happy, you're healthy, so there you go. Um, yeah, so this is more like a dry-ish, I don't even know how to explain it. It's kind of like fluffy almost. So I just mix it up really good. And you could do stuff like add, um, 
You could do brown sugar and put in like a little bit of maple syrup or something for like a winter one. You could do a little bit of um, lemon juice if you wanted a lemon one. I don't know, you could put all kinds of stuff. Get, get creative. So then I'm just gonna put this in this little pan. Whoa! Pan down here. I'm getting a little crazy. Party on, Wayne. Yikers, I'm making a mess. Chula's mad because I won't let her outside. The neighbors have a little dog that they put in a little pen up there sometimes and she wants to go up and see him, but she, all she does is go up there and freaking scream. So that's not gonna happen. So then, I don't know if you can see me, I'm gonna back up. I'm just, I got that in there, so I'm just gonna flatten it out a little bit and then press it down. And anything I get on the counter, I just kind of do this bit. Throw it in. Don't want to waste it. Waste not, want not. All right. And then I just take this little piece. You can still see me, right? Yeah. Turn it this way. Oh, actually, I actually start out this way. And then push it in there. Er. And then I go like that. And it does, like, move, move it a little bit to the side. But who cares? You know what? It's going to dissolve anyways. And that's it. That's all there. Super, super easy. I love simple. Yeah, and how much did that probably cost? Because this was $7.50. I used a half a cup of that. So maybe a buck. Maybe. And how much do you pay for those ones at the stores, right? Hang on. Let's go put a, a log on the fire. Put another log on the burner. <laughs> these little ones are hard wood, so I use these little chunks. Uh, just, it was cold here today. I had to have Alan start me a fire before he left. All right. So, what's some of the other things? Um, what time is it? Let's see. Let me turn this on so I can see what time it is. Uh, does it say? Oh, 7.21. Oh, wow, already. Um, all right, so that's, that's all that was. That's, I want to show you making those. Um, the other thing I make, this, you guys are going to go, really, for real? I'm, yeah. So, um, I'm a mouthwash girl. I like mouthwash, but I don't like to buy mouthwash. Uh, for several reasons, as you probably know. Um, I don't like the plastic that it comes in. Um... And it, I don't know what's in it exactly because they're always like proprietary blends and or whatever's in there. I mean, half the time you read it and you're like, what is that? And then um, what was the other reason I was going to tell you? Oh, because it's expensive when I can make it so, so, so much cheaper. So what I do, again, trusty old mason jar and I fill it with water from our Berkey. So up to, just up to the neck. And then I add doTERRA's On Guard. You don't have to use On Guard. I do simply because um, it's really, really good at killing bacteria and all that. But you could just use peppermint oil. You could use whatever's. I would go, I would not say use cinnamon oil, especially essential oil, because it could really, really burn the inside of your mouth. It's, it, that's a really, really um, hot oil. And I think I told you that story about when I put it on my lips. So don't do that. Um, but this has cinnamon in it. This, uh, the, um, the doTERRA's On Guard. It has cinnamon and clove. Clove is really, really good for things like canker sores. And um, if you have like a sore tooth or something like that. In fact, dentists are using this uh, for their patients after they do oral surgery. And they have them rinse with this to help keep it from getting infected. So... I just fill my jar up with some water and then I put in like five drops of this. And this, I think a bottle of this is like 30 something dollars, but you get like 200, between 250 and 300 drops out of this bottle. So if I'm using five drops, this is like a pen, like a few pennies to make, you know, and I know exactly what's in it. So. That's super, super easy. And then I just mark it. Make sure you mark it mouthwash because 
who knows what somebody in your house might think it is, and I don't, they might do something funky with it. Who knows? It just, uh, Alan wouldn't, but Darian might. He might be like, oh, I don't know what that is. Um, what else? And, okay, so we got like five minutes. One of the last things I wanted to tell you is that um, my birthday is in August. And, sorry, it's getting hot in here. I put another log on that fire, and now I'm hot. Um, my birthday is in August, and there is a, an event called the Women's Wilderness Workshop um, in Canton here at the Daniel Boone Boy Scout Camp that I'm going to be going to. My best friend Roseanne is coming up from Louisiana, and we're going to go, and there's a couple other girls from here that are thinking about going too. And if you would like to join us, the dates are from August 8th to the 12th, and I think it's like 300 and $95, but you can do like a half deposit and then pay the rest. I think it's like a couple day, a couple weeks before the event or something like that. I don't know. You can find it on the website. I will put a link um, in the description below this. When I put it, when I post this to YouTube, I'll put the description under under the, the video. So you have or the, the link for it so that you have that. Um, yeah, they do all kinds of cool stuff. So everything from like friction fire starting to basket weaving to um oh gosh uh blacksmithing and then they they have like massage available and meditations and and it includes your breakfast and your dinner every day which is weird because i don't know why it wouldn't include your lunch but whatever i'm sure we can figure lunch out but it would be fun if a bunch of us could get together and go and the space is limited so I know the sooner, as soon as I get my stipend check, I have to put in my deposit. So, um, yeah, I'm really, really excited about that. I wanted to do something really cool for my birthday this year. And it's not like it's a big birthday, a 52, big deal. But I wanted to do something really cool. So, and then we we also have here the uh, John, John C. Campbell Folk School. And they do all kinds of stuff, too. They teach all kinds of stuff. Oh, the, the uh, Women's Wilderness Workshop is going to have, like, um, uh, hide tanning and I mean all kinds of stuff and the the folk school does kind of like the same stuff but a little more extensive so they do because it's an established um space for them and they do like um uh what's it called weaving on a loom they do book binding they do they do all kinds of stuff it's really super cool so um let me make sure I got everything they want to talk about we did that we did that that was easy oh here we go. Wish me luck on my new term. Make sure I don't go crazy or drop my GPA or whatever. They said because I have a 4.0 is why I was eligible to take three classes. And I don't, I don't know why I said I would do it. You know, I do know why I said I would do it. Because that means I'll be able to graduate earlier. We'll see. If I don't fail them. So, all right. I think that is it. We're done a little bit early, but that's all right. Um, I think that's it. If you have any questions, comments, anecdotes, soliloquies, whatever, put them down in the comment and I will get back to you. Or if you know how to get a hold of me, there's, I'll have, um, when I post this on YouTube underneath there, I put all of my, uh, contact information on there. So, or if you have my phone number, just call me or show up at my door. It doesn't matter. All right. That's it for tonight. Peace out. Be the change.